Hi there, this is the video on the examples of a hyperbola. First example, find the parts and sketch the hyperbola. Oh, but our given is not yet in standard form. So, let's change that to standard form, just like how we changed your ellipse to standard form. We have to divide all terms by 16 because this must be just equal to 1. Kaya din divide natin by 16. Dapat equal to 1 siya. O, tignan mo yung formula dun. Equal to 1 sila. Dapat equal to 1 din to. And then we simplify. Cancel, cancel. All that we can cancel. Taran, taran. Taran, 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 taran. X squared is equal to... Ah, X squared over 4. Minus Y squared over 16 equals 1. In identifying whether... A hyperbola is case 1 or case 2. You have to look at which one is positive. This is not like the ellipse anymore. Ang tinitignan dito, aling variable lang positive. Kapag x ang positive, you have case 1. Kapag y ang positive, you have case 2. Again, ha? kapag x si positive, case 1. Kapag y ang positive, case 2. So in this case, ang positive natin ay yung x. Ito, ito, ito. Positive si x. Ooh. So, we have case 1. Yay! Tapos, parang ellipse lang din yan. A, B, and C tayo, mga kaibigan. For A, kung alin man ang may positive na coordinate, siya yung sa ilalim niya ay A. So, kunwari dito, kapag positive si X, yung A nasa ilalim. Kapag positive si Y, Yung A yung ilalim. Regardless kung alin yung greater, ha? Hindi siya katulad nung sa ellipse. Sa ellipse kasi whichever is greater, yun yung A, di ba? In this case, whichever is positive, yun yung A. Ayan. Uh -oh. So, A is square root of 4, square root of 4, which is 2. For B, square root of 16, which is 4. For C, beshe ba na yung formula? Plus na yan. Kabalik na siya nung kanina. A squared plus B squared. So, we have square root of 4 plus 16 square root of 20. So, factor that out. We have 20. Ay, factor out nga eh. So, if we will factor that out, we have 4 times 5. Alin ang perfect square yung 4 yung 5? Yung 4. So, yung ilalabas natin. C now is equal to 2 times the square root of 5. Yay! Meron na po tayong A, B, and C. Now let's proceed to the foci. side. Siyempre, alam niyo na to. Transverse. Wala na sinusob dyan. Foci side na tayo. So, foci, side, we have positive negative C, 0. So, we have positive negative 2 square root of 5. Comma, zero. Vertices. For the vertices, we have positive, negative, A, zero. At nag a na naman po ang phone ni Charlene. We have positive, negative, A. So, positive, negative, two, zero. And then, co-vertices. For the co-vertices, 0. Positive negative B, we have 0. Positive negative 4. And then asymptotes. Yung ganun. Asymptotes. Asymptotes. For the asymptotes, Y is equal to positive negative B over A. We have 4 over 2x, syempre, pwede pang isimplify yan, no? Lowest term dai. Lowest term, if you could lowest term. We have y is equal to positive negative 2x. Ta-da! Tapos, graphing na lang yan using decimals. I will, use, I will um, give a different video for that. So, that's it for our first example on uh, hyperbola. Yes, bye!